Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh and have a very good day. I'm going to demonstrate on Structural Engineering Laboratory CES 511 Torsion Level 1. As an introduction, torsion is a basic type of deformation of a structural member that is subjected to a twist action of applied forces. Figure 1 shows the cantilever shaft subjected to a torque at free end. Figure at the right shows the torsion equipment in the laboratory and it consists of digital indicator or load cell, reading indicator to determine the actual angle, torsion meter and the specimen which is made by solid circular shaft. If the shaft is long and has a circular section, its torsion and deformation are characterized by the following. The torque or twist moment is applied within a plane perpendicular to the axis of the circular member. Under the action of the torque, shear stress develop on the cross section. Under the action of a torque, the deformation of the bar is dominated by angle of twist, that is, the relative rotation between parallel planes perpendicular to the axis and a plane section perpendicular to the axis remain plane after the twist moment is applied that is no warpage or distortion of parallel planes normal to the axis of a member occurs here are the formula to determine the torque t is equal to g times j over l times with the angle of twist or T is equal to the constant time with the angle of twist. Hence, the constant which is equal G times J over L is the slope of the graph. The graph is T versus with the angle of twist. Thus, to determine the shear modulus, G is equal to slope time with the L divided by J. In this experiment, it is to determine the relationship between the applied torque and the angle of twist and obtain the shear modulus. At the end of this experiment, students should be able to determine the shear modulus G of the shaft and describe the influence of torsion in structural design. As a problem statement, the beam is an element that is normally sustain the vertical loading. It tends to fail due to torsion beside bending and shear. Therefore, it is important to aware the torsion effect on the beam as shown in the figure 2. So, it shows the direction of the torque for the solid circular shaft. And then the second one is showing the solid the second one shows the solid square shaft with the angle of twist and the twisting effect after we apply the torque to the circular shaft. Today, we are going to demonstrate on torsion experiment. Before that, I'm going to introduce the equipment for torsion experiment. Here are the equipment. Here is the digital indicator. Here is the digital protector. Here is the handler. Here is the specimen. After we install, 
Here is the specimen before we install. Here is the down gauge. In order to start the experiment, there is a few things that we have to prepare. The first one, we have to make sure that the equipment in loose condition. Okay, so we have to set up the specimen here, okay, at the apparatus. In order to start the experiment, okay, we after we place the equipment, okay, we have to tighten up the dial gauge. Okay, so we have to make sure that there is no twisting angle of the equipment at this free end. Okay, here is the free end. Okay, so second one, after we set the equipment, so we check the error here. The error is 7. So after that, as usual, we have to press the tell button at the digital indicator to make sure that the first reading is start by 0 Newton. So, here is the reading that you can record for the load. Here is the reading that you can record for the digital protector. Here is the reading from the dial gauge or we call it as a torsion meter. We have to make sure that the position of the torsion meter is at the center of the specimen. Now, we're going to apply the load. Before that, we have to know what are the data that we have to record and tabulate. First, we have to record the load. Second one, the angle of twist here. And then, the value at the torsion meter here. Because we have to calculate the value of torsion using the formula. Before we apply load to the apparatus or to the specimen, so we have to make sure that the value of the load applied here is zero and also the torsion meter here is also set to zero. So here, the digital protector shows seven, therefore this value is known as a error. So for example, if you get 10, you have to minus seven, therefore the angle of twist is three. Okay, so now, I'm going to start to apply load. In order to apply load, for example, in this case, I'm going to have an increment of 3 Newton. So, you have to know that the maximum load that you can apply for this apparatus is 150 Newton. Therefore, in this experiment, I'm going to increase 3 Newton. The first one is 3, second one is 6, 9, and so on. So let we start apply load to the specimen. So in order to apply load to the specimen, we have to turn anti-clockwise of this handler. And please make sure, okay, you're aware also on the torsion meter at the center. Okay, for example, the reading here is 16.1 from the digital protector. The load here is 3. And then the reading from this torsion meter is 0 0.5. Okay, for the next one, okay, we will increase into 6. Okay, and then the angle here is 17.1 and then the torsion meter is also 0 0.5. Okay, so you have to repeat this process up to 10 reading. From the experiment, 
we recorded the data. The length of the specimen is 160 millimeter. The diameter of the specimen, D, 6.15 millimeter. Gauge length, where we place the torsion meter, it is at center of the top arm 50 millimeter where the top arm L as shown in the figure is 100 millimeter you have to calculate your own polar moment of inertia of the specimen for the torsion meter one division represents 0 0.015 degree Based on the experiment, here are the example of the torsion data that we recorded from the experiment. We recorded the load cell value. Based on this experiment, we record 10 reading. We also record the torsion meter value and the actual angle please don't forget to minus the error of the actual angle during the experiment the data shown in the table for the actual angle is actually the data that has been minus with the actual angle error Therefore, you have to determine the applied torque, angle of twist by using the torsion meter, and angle of twist by using the digital protector. Each group is required to prepare the experimental report based on the data given, where you have to analyze and interpret the data and include all the analysis together with calculation of the needed answer. Beside that, if the specimen is tested to failure, describe the failure surface. For the conclusion, you have to discuss your laboratory work and finding and it should be reflecting with respect to objective of this study. Here are some application of torsion in the construction industry or in the construction. The first figure shows the effect of torsional forces on reinforced concrete column where we can see there is a twisting angle of the column. The second figure shows the effect of torsional force on solid circular shaft where it shows the failure effect after the maximum load we apply to the circular shaft and it shows the failure mode of the specimen. That's it for the experimental for Thank you.